we had a patient come to clinic uh, a few weeks ago that was complaining of stiffness and pain mostly in the mornings and in the evenings. The patient was relatively young. The patient did have a family history of some autoimmune problems. We eventually were able to make the diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis and I wanted to talk a little bit about this particular condition. In our summit rounds discussion on Tuesday, Tyler Murray, one of our nurse practitioners, led a really good discussion on the condition ankylosing spondylitis. There were some highlights from that discussion that I would like to share with you. Ankylosing spondylitis is a condition that affects the insertion of ligaments onto bone. So we have many bones in the body, especially in the spine, and the ligaments attach one bone to another and help create stability for the joints of the body. That attachment point in ankylosing spondylitis can become inflamed and eventually can lead to fusion of the ligament and, and thus fusion of the joint. Over time, patients with ankylosing spondylitis can develop significant stiffness of their spine and it can lead to several problems. We had a really good discussion on management strategies for ankylosing spondylitis. This particular condition is a wonderful example of why having and partnering with a spine management provider is a really good idea. The patients with ankylosing spondylitis never have a cure of their disease, but the disease symptoms can be managed in a productive way over time. Patients with ankylosing spondylitis will typically have worsening stiffness in the mornings and at night, and the pain is better with activity. Osteoarthritis is just the opposite. Osteoarthritis is typically more painful with activity and better with rest, and so that's one differentiating feature. Patients suspected of having ankylosing spondylitis may undergo laboratory testing, and there are, are some labs that are diagnostic or suggestive of ankylosing spondylitis. In our discussion, recommendations for management of ankylosing spondylitis included good nutrition, regular stretching and exercise, good sleep habits, and working with physical therapy and chiropractic. Patients that have more advanced ankylosing spondylitis should be very careful about falls and other types of trauma because the spine is brittle. It's like a dry stick and can crack. And patients that have a fracture in the setting of ankylosing spondylitis need immediate medical attention.